Hi, everyone. My name is Hope Carr, and I'm a member of the National Girl Pioneer Council. I would like to show you today how to um, apply for a Thrivent Action Team grant. Thrivent Action Team grants are um, just that. It is a way to um, get a grant if you have um, any kind of a um, account with Thrivent, you can use these grants. Um, each person is um, has two of them, them available per year, and each grant is worth $250. Um, so God blessings on your um, applications, and let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is log into Thrivent. Um, if you go to Thrivent Financial, and I'll start you off here. The first thing that you would need to do um, if you are not already registered for the account would be to go here. Um, all I did was thrivent.com, see up here, um, and then not registered yet. We're going to register. Um, let's get started to register. It would need your Thrivent ID which your ID would be found on um, the account statements. It is this number right here, and you would need that to um, begin your to to begin your Thrivent uh, account. So you can have that emailed to you if you are not sure where that is, and you can just go on and request that just like this. If you put your name, date, birth date, and other information in, then they would send it to you. Um, once you have that information, I'm going to back out now. If you already have that information, once you get it, then you can create this login. Um, so you would log in your user ID uh, that you would create. Mine is my name, um, then the password for that. And again, this is something that you all create when you um, go do that registration. Okay, click on the login. I'm going to click on that. And it actually has me already logged in. All right. Um, so, you would then, when you get to this screen after you have logged in, we're going to what we offer. Okay. There is a selection here, advice, investments, insurance, banking, and generosity. I click on the generosity. That is where you will find the different options. The Thrivent Action Team is the option that we want to go to. So we're going to click for more information. Okay, making a difference in your community um, and how to launch your Thrivent Action Team. Uh, if you would like to get inspired, they have some great ideas on how to do that. Um, I am going to go to the Apply to Lead. Read the information that is on there. All right, that will take you to the Action Team Center. All right. So um, this is the action team kickoff place. Um, you would apply now. And there are steps to go through. I had um, already applied. Let me see here. Um, finish the project application. Let me see if that takes us to the right place. Here. All right. So it will take you through the different login sites. I created an imaginary um, application earlier today. Um, it will ask you how you found out about the action teams. Then it will ask you questions. It will want a project date. So what date you are going to do your project. Um, there are different types of projects to be done. Um, the one that is best used for um, something having to do with caravans or activities for caravans would be the education one. 
project causes children and youth and education. Um, there are ones that you can use um, the money or request the money and then use that as a kickoff for um, or beginning money for a fundraiser. Um, if you're doing like a coat drive or looking to um, do a startup for a um, dinner or something that a fundraiser that you're going to put things together for, um, you can apply for something like that also. Um, the one I chose for this today was um, we're going to be taking a winter camp out and taking the girls out on that. We needed some help covering expenses for the camp out for the educational materials that we're going to use on the camp out. Um, so my description points to that specifically that the ed education part of that. We'd like to take our Lutheran Girl Pioneer group on a winter camp up. We try to keep the cost down for our families and do not have funding for this project. That would be something that um, to be sure to include so they understand that you don't have the money um, to use for that project. Uh, we'd be, be taking our group of 20 girls to Pine Ridge Campgrounds about an hour outside of Milwaukee. We'll be teaching some survival skills and nature study to get the most out of the experience. We'll like to rent snowshoes, nature study materials, and a survivor sub survival packet from the Schlitz Audubon Nature Center. Um, and that asks what kind of uh, leader involvement you would be doing, organizing, planning. There's a list of um, require or questions about what you would be participating in and then what your volunteers would be participating in. Um, it then asks for other information, uh, what church or organization you belong to, um, how much seed money, how much money you're uh, requesting. Um, the 250 is the uh, most that you can request. What that money would be used for, food for the weekend, supplies, um, food and supplies needed for the weekend camp out, and then the rental of the snowshoes and educational materials. Um, there are t-shirts for the volunteers that you can order. Um, you just need to know the sizes of those. Uh, any other kit items, there's a variety of things that you can also do. Um, so then it's, uh, there's some terms and conditions. We trust you. We believe that you are completing this application on your own behalf and that you would be bringing a volunteer team together to do cool things in your community. If you are doing a fundraiser for an individual, for example, a coworker with medical needs, you may want to check out these other tips and then there's some other information. You agree to that and send it off. Um, so God's blessings on your um, applications.